Hi there, my name is Thomas and uh, I'm trying to print some gymnastic rings out of plastic. So this was my first attempt. Uh, it didn't really work out that well. So I'm going to try a, uh, a new one, uh, probably print it better. I got a 5% and then I got a 20% infill that I'm going to try and see how well they do. Hold on, let's play a game. Am I responsible? On Amazon, the price of gymnastics rings are $30. Now, the price of Pet G is $12. And then I multiply that by 140 grams. And then multiply that too to get two rings. Now, the total comes out to $3.36, which is almost a 10 times savings over buying it at Amazon. Now that we know I'm responsible, let's continue on with the test. So, first up is 5%. did not work. That is the 5% one. It did work better than the last one, but we'll see how the 20% goes. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty surprised that the 20% worked. Um, so, I'm gonna make some more. So I'm gonna give these rings a more permanent home. Plan is get some rope, cut it in half, seal the ends, and then attach it to the rings. And then I'm gonna attach it to the rings so that it is wrapped around multiple times and then secure that with the slip knot. That way the pressure isn't all in one area and spread out just like those straps I had on it before. Another note about these rings is that they're not exactly regular size. So they're just a little bit small. Now I'm going to attach these rings to my pull up bar. I'm just tying a slip knot at the bottom and hopefully everything stays. And with the length they got, it's going to be approximate for a dip bar. I could change it if I want to do pull ups. For right now, I'm just doing dips. And well, I would think that would make it easier do dips rather than pull-ups, but I learned it's a lot more difficult. And thanks for watching.